If you optimize your game user settings, reset your config, and try these other optimizations when heading into season three, I can guarantee your game will feel way smoother than before. So if it does, please drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and use my code in the item shop. Before we do launch the game up, let's reset our config. On your desktop, press Windows key and R, then type in percentage sign local app data. Then you wanna press F, scroll down until you find Fortnite game, and this right here is what we're gonna be resetting. We're essentially going to delete it, but if you're a bit worried about that, you can make it back up. But I'm just going to go ahead and go straight for it and literally press the delete button. And just like that, it's been deleted. And the reason for this is it gets rid of all the old, outdated files and replaces them with brand new ones. Now, after launching the game, it'll ask you if you want to find the best settings, you want to click decline. And once you enter, if you go into your settings, you will notice that by default, it's actually reset all your video settings and just your video settings. Things like your sensing keybinds have not been reset so don't worry about that however if you go back in the video and configure all of these settings to be the best ones which i made a video about on screen right here but once you've optimized all those settings there if you simply close down the game we can now go back into local app data if you scroll down to the fortnite game folder you'll see it's reappeared with brand new fresh settings just go inside of it then go into saved then config then windows client and here is your fresh game user settings config file so if you slowly scroll down until you get to these global illumination quality settings you want all of these on zero just change them from one to zero another thing i recommend disabling is the energy saving modes apparently these can give you a slight fps boost so you want to change both of these to false if you can if you scroll down you will find the scalability groups now the resolution quality i do highly recommend using um 100 as this will give you the best quality some people do lower this value slightly if they want more fps view distance i talked about earlier i like having that on a higher one and then for all of these settings right here they should be on zero so for shading quality go ahead and turn that off same with foliage quality and then you want landscape quality off too i believe that's a new setting but all of these off or on zero should give you more fps after don't forget to click file and then save next you can try disabling full screen optimizations which is something epic games actually recommend if you go into library then when you see the game itself and um, click on those three dots and head inside the manage button then inside here go under installation click on that like folder icon then go into fortnite game go into binaries go into win64 and if you scroll down inside here you want to look for something called fortnite client win64 shipping then right click on it head into its properties section then under where it says compatibility and here you will find that disable full screen optimization setting if you go ahead and tick it oh also change the high dpi settings and make sure this is checked the override bit with application selected don't forget to press ok if you go ahead and apply that i've found that this setting does actually boost my fps but only very slightly by like an average of around 20 fps next up let's try some cmd commands by going into the cmd inside here i like to paste in this command that i'll have in the description and what this does is it checks your entire pc for incorrect changed or corrupt windows files and if any corruption does appear for myself as you can see there's actually none you can then paste in this command that i'll also have in the description what this will do is it'll go through and actually find all the missing in slash incorrect corrupt windows files and actually replace them for you but there's no need to run that if no corruption has been detected i was just using this as an example oh another thing as well after running those checks i like to paste in this command and it'll basically do a quick scan to make sure all the issues were fixed next we're going to try some cpu optimizations using process lasso which is free and safe even some pros like tens have used it in the past but to get the app just simply google process lasso and then download it and once you have installed it or have downloaded the application itself you can see it does look pretty confusing now i myself i'm still playing around with this testing different benchmarks and stuff for my current pc as what i've heard with this program is it differs from pc to pc like mileage basically might vary but i'm gonna show the best settings that i've found so far and it's something that you can play around with if you want and if it works good great and if it doesn't you can go ahead and revert it but so far I've found if you go to the top left corner under main it's important that you have this checked, that's manage processes of all users, as well as pro balanced enabled checked. Some people also have the performance mode enabled, but I've not found that beneficial just yet. I find the other settings just fine. But after that, you can go ahead and click off it and actually open up the game of choice, which for me, that's going to be Fortnite. And once the game itself is running, if you go back into process lasso under active processes, you will find the game right there and you want to go ahead and right click on it. The first thing most people do is go under CPU priority under 
always so it's always happening and they set it from the default none or it might be on normal too high and that right there makes the priority class on the specific game high as by default it is on normal another thing people like to do is right click on it yet again but go under cpu affinity under always and they actually select the cpu affinity now in here you can see that it's checked like everything and by default it does check both the performance cores and the efficiency cores but i've heard that for some pcs out there and this is not for every pc but for some it's something you've just got to try if you click performance cores and only use the performance cores this can be beneficial for me i didn't notice any sort of difference so i just like to cancel this but that right there is all the settings i've found so far for process lasso it's a very interesting program if you've got any suggestions yourself feel free to comment them below next up let's optimize discord and google chrome firstly in discord head into the settings and scroll down to advanced you'll find the hardware acceleration setting which is enabled by default and basically helps improve the overall smoothness of the app but if like most people you are running the app while playing the game if you've got a much lower end pc maybe a low end pc or a medium end pc many have reported that when using this setting it can cause stutters and even crashes so because of this a lot of people tend to disable the hardware acceleration setting and it's something i recommend you try to see if it does benefit you in any sort of way if it doesn't you can just go ahead and re-enable it we're going to do a similar thing but in google chrome which a lot of people do have open while playing the game to find the setting in here just go into the settings tab if you then scroll down to system you will see the hardware acceleration setting similar to discord this setting helps improve the overall smoothness of the app but like i mentioned before it is definitely worth disabling if you are on a lower end pc it's something you can try and if it does benefit you you can keep it disabled if it doesn't you can re-enable it next up let's disable some useless services by going into services and inside here you basically want to go through and disable all the unnecessary services that you don't use so a one that I like to get rid of is wallet. So if you press W, it should come up with the wallet service. And this is something that I don't use myself. I don't have a wallet app or anything like that. So I like to go ahead and right click on it, then go into the properties, then into the startup app and just go ahead and disable it. Then press apply and okay. Another one, for example, is the Windows Insider service. I've got no sort of intentions of being in it or having it running. So I like to right click on it, go into properties and go ahead and disable this too. Don't forget to apply and press okay. And that right there has been the best game user settings as well as some other optimizations you should try out if it helped please drop a like subscribe to the channel and use my code in the item shop and before you go check out any of my other videos on screen right now